Suppose you were assigned to come up with a line, a phrase or more, an entry for a book that was designed to clarify some words, a bunch of nouns and verbs and adjectives, what have you to. But here's the classic curve. The definitions need to come from folks like me. A dictionary grown from very ordinary seeds. Now wouldn't that be cool? A layman's language tool made for and by the average guy from life's own public school. Well, with that thought in mind, how would it be to find that wisdom was the word they love for you to help define? Since we're imagining this fictionary thing, let's say that we change you to me and I'll just play first string. So let me share some thoughts, some insights I've been taught by God and life, my kids, my wife, some woulds and shoulds and oughts. A lot of these I've read, and some I've learned instead by listening while visiting the living and the dead. Now here's what I would say in my poetic way, the ways and means and in-betweens how wisdom operates. Imagine wisdom was defined by what it does. The practical, the tactical, the daily kind of stuff. Well, in a way, it is defined by how we live. It's what we know and how we grow from what life has to give. I cannot, do not see a wisdom recipe. For I know wisdom surely isn't some commodity. It's knowing what to do, a shrewd discerning view. And in the end, it's discipline. Discretion, prudence too. A keen ability to live life skillfully. That's why God's word contains Proverbs and other wisdom keys. Ecclesiastes too. And all that Job went through. His loss and pain can be our gain and teach us what to do. It takes integrity plus great humility. Isaiah 6, no magic tricks, just lots of woe is me. Since we're all made from sod, let's drop the prideful fraud. Send knowledge back to college till it learns the fear of God. You see, a brainiac might be a maniac. Intelligence is relevant, but won't keep you on track. Emotionally smart, intelligence of heart. Yes, I contend that in the end, real wisdom is an art. Since Jesus Christ is Lord, I know he's keeping score. The pain, the loss, the daily cross, it all means something more. See, wisdom, I believe, we ask for and receive, not right away, but day by day, so incrementally. Betrayal from a friend, a quote we hear again. The Lord can weave a tapestry just using odds and ends, a passage or a verse, distress or something worse. A book I read, a hug I need, a trip behind a hearse. And all those stormy days when nothing goes my way, I find that he is teaching me and has so much to say. He whispers in the smiles, but shouts through all the trials. I'm fairly sure his signature is on the hardest miles. Because pain can teach us things. The school of suffering a page is turned, a lesson learned, a psalm we learn to sing. When God becomes our guide, the lessons hurt can hide are then revealed, the truth distilled. See Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord, it says, with all your heart. And yes, lean not unto your human view, and he'll direct your steps. Our thinking is defective. So make it your objective to see things through God's point of view, cause wisdom is perspective.